Hello and welcome to the Yonatech video series. I'm John Yonan and today we're going to talk about how to connect to a Cisco device in order to manage it. Uh, we're going to use this uh, simulator uh, called Packet Tracer. If you're not familiar with it, uh, do a Google search on Cisco's Packet Tracer. It's available through the uh, Cisco Networking Academy. and uh, uh, it's, a fr it's a free tool if you sign up through their service. Uh, I'm not going to explain how Packet Tracer works. Go ahead and grab it. Uh, there are some videos on it on the web, on YouTube, and other places. Uh, so let's just grab one of these 20, 2811s and we'll drop it out here on the surface. Now, I could have selected any of these. The iOS pretty much works the same with uh, all the different routers. Uh, and I'm going to select an end device. We'll just take this uh, computer up here. We'll drop it out here. In order to, pr to uh, configure this 2811, I need to connect these two devices together. Now, you, s you simply go here to connections and you want something called a rollover cable, or also known as a console cable. It is not to be confused with a crossover cable. That is something completely different. This is a rollover cable or console cable. Okay? I select that. I will plug one end into the serial port, the RS-232, and the other end into the console port. Okay, now if you're not familiar with, most of the computers today don't, uh, don't have serial ports, uh, the old DB9 ports, uh, but they do have USB ports. Let me just show you a couple things here. Let me bring in this photo. This is the standard console cable or rollover cable has a DB9 connector and an RJ45 on the other end. Uh, so this end would go into the console port on the router. This end would go into the serial port of the PC. But since we really don't see these too often anymore, only on older computers, uh, you can purchase for, oh, I don't know, between $15 and $30 you can purchase one of these uh, USB to serial port converters. This end, of course, would plug into this end the, uh, on the female end of the DB9, and then you would plug in this into your USB into your computer. Now, these usually come with uh, software drivers uh, so that it will recognize uh, the connection. Um, and once that is plugged in, it'll look something similar to this right here. So we've got a, uh, and, and just to show you, I've got another little device here, which is the DB9 to USB converter, and it's all built into this one small uh, converter uh, device. So we've got the, uh, here it's just a slightly different adapter. It's going from the console cable right into the computer, okay? And you've got to look for something that says console. Usually has a little blue band around the outside of it, light blue band, okay? All right, so we'll pull those out. Now, once you've got this connected, you're going to want to uh, use some sort of terminal emulation software to connect from the PC to the router. Now, the older computers had hyperterminal. Uh, you could usually get to it through the accessories directory in uh, like Windows XP or some earlier versions. Uh, but hyperterminal isn't available in newer Windows applications. So uh, the easiest way, I think, to gain access is to use a free tool called PuTTY. You can get this, download this at putty.org and you would
would simply, when you're in here, you simply select Serial and set your speed. Usually um, you want it at 9600 baud, but let's just go down here and click Serial. You would, collect, you would select the communication port that you've plugged into, and that's usually, uh, it, it may say COM, but it's really a USB port. Uh, you would select the speed, and you want to have it 9600, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, no parity, and you can uh, turn flow control to X on, X off. Okay? It probably will work also with no flow control. All right. Once that's completed, you can then connect to your uh, router or switch. And we're going to just go in and show you what that looks like. We, in Packet Tracer, you would simply click on the device, go to Desktop, click on Terminal. It shows what the configuration is. Say OK, and you are at your prompt. Now, I'm not going to go any further than this right now. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, enter them below. If you have comments, if I've missed something or you want to, uh, something wasn't clear, feel free to place, uh, place your questions in comments below, and I will try to get back to everyone um, as quickly as possible. I hope this uh, video was uh, informational and if you uh, if you liked it, please uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, and share it with friends. All right, thanks everyone. Bye bye.